Hello, hey everyone. Today I want to share something fun. Uh, it's not quite HR related. It's just something that I um I found online and I just want to share with you, um, about making an interesting chart. So um, I found this chart type from Google, and then um, it's like from Economist, and then basically it's telling you the difference uh, between um, two data and between two uh, two data period uh, by country, and then like there are many ways to realize that, but then the way that they realize it, of course, looks very nice and professional. So I thought that I want to replicate it. Uh, so this is what I was able to do with Excel. Um, I'm using 2013 version. Um, I think it's not too bad. So um, if you're interested, I'm going to show you in this video how I did this chart. Okay, so this is where we start with. So I copied this chart from Google, and then I basically kind of made up the um, the data here based on like the the estimated position for those dots. Um, so um, it's looking like this. I I'm using for the title. I'm using the bar uh, because I will have. Um, another two data sets that's using, that's actually the dots, uh, which I'm going to name as uh, 1985 and 2013. So I'm using bar here as um, a differentiation. Um, and uh, I do also have two helper set of uh, data. And then let me explain to you what it is. So the first one is, um, basically the difference between the two. So in my case, um, it is the 2013 data minus the uh, two, uh, 1985 data. Um, and then you copy the formula down. And then for the uh, for the next one, uh, it is actually the position that I'm going to use for uh, the scattered, char uh, scattered points chart that I'm going to uh, draft in a minute. Um, and there's one trick here that I, I have one empty row here between the titles and um, my data set. Uh, you don't have to have it if uh, you don't care about this grid line, this vertical grid, uh, this vertical, <coughs> sorry, this horizontal grid line. If you don't care about this one and you don't, you don't really need it, actually you don't need to have this empty a data set. Um, and actually, let me show you the quickest way to the core chart. Uh, and now I'm going to show you how to do the great chart and make the format nice. Okay, so let's start with the data. So you know what, let me just delete this row just to make things easier. Um, let me so now what you the first thing you do is to select your data set. Um, and then insert um, our stack bar chart. So it's going to be something looking, it looks going to look something like this. So you make it um, roughly like the size of the chart that you want to replicate, which is roughly like that. Um, I don't need the chart title for my purpose. Um, and uh, one thing that you can do either now or at the end of the, um, the chart is to make your background the same as the economist chart. So I have um, searched online to find out that the uh, color code for the background um, is like this is 205, 222, and 231. So I'm going to do it up front. Um, if you are wondering how to do that, you can check my previous video on how to customize your chart with branding color. Um, and then, so here you go with the background. And then now look at the, um, the title here. It looks like it's the opposite. So let's right click and then format access. And then on the right, you reverse the category to show it in the same order as what you need. Uh, for the, uh, for the found, I'm not quite fuss about it. Like I, I would just use arrow, um, Arial, uh, just to make it like a little bit different. Like I'm not too fast if it's not exactly the same. Um, I do notice that I need more space here. So I'm gonna make it, yeah. And then I probably just wanna bold it. 
Um, this does not look exactly the same. It's okay. We will fix it later. Um, and then now let's fix the bar chart. So go to right click, go to select data. Uh, what you really want to show here is actually only uh, the 9085 bar chart and the helper chart because you want them to stack together. You don't really care about the 2013 bar. So let's unclick it uh, and then go OK. And then your chart's going to look something like this. And then the next thing you do is to select a 985 bar chart, uh, go fill, no fill. And then that gives you like this part, basically, like the connection line between. So that is the starting point. Um, and then we can, um, yeah, and then, you, um, and then now we kind of have the connecting line. Now let's work on the, uh, the dots. So to do the dots, we actually need to use a scatter point, a scatter chart type. Um, and the way that you can do it is actually go to um, select data. And then you add for your Siri name. Um, this is when you type in, say, 985. And then for the serial value, actually, the serial value here, you, you're typing in, um, you know, for a scatter chart, you have x axis and y axis. The value you want to uh, type in here is the y is for the y axis. And then for the y axis, it's the vertical one, which is actually, in our case, the order for the countries. So, for example, uh, from the bottom, OEC. See the average is going to be zero uh, and then Denmark is going to be one and then Norway is going to be two. So it goes like that. So that is why we are uh, we created this um, helper data set just to help us here. So, OK, so we select it and OK it. It's OK. And then we do the same thing with 2013 data again um, with this set. Um, you have the same Y axis, which is this part, and then you just go OK and then OK. So it's going to look something like this, but it's OK. So now you go to, so now you select your data set. Um, if you're not quite sure what you're selecting, uh, go to format, and then now, so you can tell you're selecting Siri uh, 2013. Uh, let's select it and then change chart type. So you can see that by default, Excel assume that we are going to use stack bar chart for them. We do not. We actually want to change it to scatter for both of them. Um, but they can, they, they don't have to be on the same um, access. So after you change, go OK. Uh, your chart is going to look something like this. Um, and that is because you have not input your X or access for them yet. So let's go back to Siri. Um, uh, no, actually, you know, what? like actually go to select data and then go to 985. So now let's input the X, Y, uh, X access value, which is actually this part. And then let's select it to be this part. And then you do the same with the 2013 data. So this is the vertical one that you want to show here. So now you can see we, and then when you OK it, you can see we actually already have the all the elements in the chart. Like we have the dots, we have the lines. Uh, they're just not lined up. And that's OK. Let's fix it now. Um, so the first thing you need to do here um, is actually uh, let's fix the axis. So this is the axis, the y-axis of a scatter. Uh, let's make it um, just exactly the number of rows that we need, which is 13. So click on it and then format. Make sure the minimum is 0 and then the max is 13. <coughs> and, then, <coughs> and then for your... Uh, no, actually, you see, like it's not lined up because the minimum is minus one. So let's change it to zero. So now it's aligned um, roughly. And uh, and now you can actually, well, you can delete the access at the end. So um, now you can see for 
our dots. So let's fix form of our dots. So select one of them, go to the uh, serial options marker for the marker you want it to be round. And then for my case, I choose nine, which is um, roughly the same as what um, the chart on the left is showing. Uh, and then I want to have uh, the fill, I want to have, let's say, some blue. And then for the border, I want to have a darker blue. And then I wanna, want it to be thicker. So, yeah, <clears throat> so it's going to look something like that. And then we do similar things with our other marker. Change it size, change it the color, and uh, change the border width. Yeah, so that is how it looks like now. So now the next thing that we need to do is to change the uh, change the bar here. So the bar that we have here, so select it and format. Um, it's apparently too wide, like we want something thinner. So for that, uh, you for the gap width, you go to the max. Okay, so now at this point, um, the problem that we have here is that you, you see our line and our dots are not aligned, and that's because of the position of the axis. So let's select the axis and then go format. And then on the uh, right, we're gonna see axis position. It's between the tick mark, and then let's choose it to be on tick mark. Okay, so after you select, you can see that our line and uh, our dots are perfectly aligned. Um, if you still don't like the width of the line, you want it to be thinner. Uh, one way we can do is to, again, go to format um, and then go to uh, serial options and then fill border. So in border, select solid line and then select the color of the background and then just increase the width of your, uh, basically increase the width of your line until it's as thin as you desire. So of course, like what I'm looking at here, it seems too much. So let me decrease uh, the, uh, the width of my border to 2.5. Yeah, I think that's more desirable like that. Um, okay, so, and then after you do that, you just fix the uh, format, like you can get rid of this axis. You don't need it. Um, and then for the top one, uh, we want it to be exactly the same as the one on the left, which is 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. Yep. Yep, it's looking good. And uh, I don't want the legend for the helper bar. I don't want this. I do want those two. I want to change the format, the font. Um, and then move it up here. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and then the, the last thing that we have here is the grid line. So you already have the grid line here, you just select them and then go format. Um, and then basically you go to uh, solid and then select white, white. Yeah, select white and then you just increase uh, oh, no, I think I'm selecting the wrong one. So I'm supposed to be selecting the vertical grid line. And then I go white and I increase its width until desired. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is pretty much everything that you need for this chart. I personally think this is actually perfect i actually don't like the horizontal uh grid line that they put there um but just in case you you still want it uh, i'm going to show it show that in, to you in the next uh video um what i think this one is per uh is already perfect for use and um i hope that you like it Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.